Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can you believe we are finally here? I sure as hell can't believe it. But we are finally here. Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally upon us. For you guys who have been watching for so long for this entire marathon, thank you to all of you who have watched the marathon, supported the marathon, did whatever you could to like watch the marathon, whatever you did for the marathon, thank you. This entire run couldn't have been possible without you guys. Now I have like a little intro cutscene that we're gonna watch together, but still. This is the official intro for Kingdom Hearts uh, 3. This is a, like opening video for the playthrough or whatever. And it's recapping Birth by Sleep currently. Alright, go check out that playthrough if you haven't done so. And then come back here. I'm probably gonna say that a couple more times, like as it continues to recap the games. I also love how I was showing the games chronologically. So that was burp, the entire Burp by Sleep recap. Kingdom Hearts 1, go and check out that playthrough if you get done so. We finally defeated Anton the Wise. Well, for the first time, anyway. It's like instrumental, uh. This is instrumental, don't think twice, I think it is. Reach your memories, go and check out. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't even upload for your memories yet. I gotta fucking finish for your memories and upload that, and then put that in between uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh. Kingdom Hearts 3 and 50 out of 2 days, and, uh. Kingdom Hearts 1. But uh, that was just a recap for, for Reaching Memories for those of you guys who. The two of you guys that care about the actual. Uh, these playthroughs. There's uh, 58 days over 2. And we are going to watch uh, the recaps together as well. So not just like the cutscenes. Because, um. What I'm going to do is like this entire first video is just going to be like the intro slash recap videos. And then the second part is going to be where the playthrough officially begins. I know it's kind of a weird way to handle the playthrough, but that's how I'm going to play it. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to play it by ear like that. I'm going to be like not even call this episode one, just like call it the intro to the playthrough. I'll figure out obviously what I actually go to title it. Here's Recode is recap. We just saw the Kingdom Hearts 2 recap. The unnecessary recoded, by the way. But still recorded nonetheless. I don't wanna go, baby. I don't wanna go. Dreamed Up Distance. The most recent game that we played. Which was currently one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts games next to Kingdom Hearts 2, but Kingdom Hearts 2 is still the top spot. But obviously, Kingdom Hearts 3 might probably steal that spot depending on how good it is. And this is a uh, 0.2 Rip by Sleep. Where Riku and uh, Mickey were attached to finding the Secrets of Darkness. Uh, I'm in Secret of Darkness, Guardians of Light, and uh, Sora was sent to Olympus because Sora, if you guys remember at the end of Dream of Distance, he failed his, um... Kingdom Hearts 3. We're finally here, guys. We're finally fucking here. Anyway, if you guys remember at the end of Dream of Distance, <clears throat> Sora failed his Mark of Mastery exam, and Riku was named the one sole true Keyblade Master. So, uh, Riku is the official Keyblade Master right now. 
which is absolutely fucking amazing, by the way, that Riku was named uh, Keyblade Master. But we still have, obviously, Sora still has to get his uh, sort of Keyblade Master mark, whatever you want to call it. Kingdom Hearts 3. The memory archive has been unlocked in the title screen. And it obviously says, like, uh, you can't listen, use the stream and listen to music, whatever. Alright, so here's the memory archives. We have episodes 1 through 5, with Departures, Memories, Twilight, Dawn, and Darkness. Subtitles are on by default, which is good. Let's uh, go ahead and watch the recaps together. I've already watched this, like, twice now. So this will be my third time watching them. Because so I was watching a stream with, like, the... Someone watching the recaps, so I didn't got, get that far into the game because I didn't want to spoil myself. But I just watched like him watching the recaps, so... You know. That's something. The story so far, Kingdom Hearts 3, Departures. Do you remember... this story? It begins with Sora and his friends Kairi and Riku. The three are inseparable. And they believe another world is waiting out beyond the sea. For those of you guys who have been waiting for this playthrough, Sora, and obviously like um don't ever change. You guys didn't watch previous playthroughs, as you guys don't feel like watching it or whatever. This is like kind of a good way for you guys to get recapped on it without having to actually go back and watch the it. Islands they call home and tears them apart. But I recommend you do because there are some pretty good moments in that. Now we can go to the outside world. Sora wakes up in an unknown world, and before long he meets two courageous companions. A magician named Donald, and a knight named Goofy. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. They embark on an adventure and make countless Agra, friends. Agra, Agrippus, Wonderland, Neverland. They do seem a little different. I'm Where going are to you from? And a few enemies. Ah. Bum 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 the Seeker of Darkness. Exactly. I know now I don't need the Keyblade. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. That's my favorite line. But that's just the beginning of the tale. Little do Sora and his friends realize what fate has in store for them. The memories we share with the people we love, our only true The witch you met up with memory, and learn some things cannot change. The promise is to make stay with us always. Sora, Donald, and Goofy have been searching for King Mickey and Riku, their friends who were stranded on the other side of the door to darkness. A clue leads them to a mysterious citadel called Castle Oblivion. Riku! You mean Riku's here? Proceed, Sora. You mean I don't sound like a kid anymore? To lose and claim anew. Or to claim anew, only to lose. Sora is determined to press on and look for his friends. But as he climbs, his most precious memories begin to slip away. He is being tricked by Marluxia and a mysterious organization who are trying to make him their puppet. Unaware that the events of his past have been rewritten inside his mind, Sora races to the top of the castle to save a girl named Namine. Sora, what happened to you? What's that mean? You want me to abandon her? But there, he learns the shocking truth. Even if you come for me, what then? 
If you don't stop this, no one will. Naminé has special powers. And she's the one who's been changing Sora's memory. Just make it count. The girl you've been trying to protect all this time is really a manipulative witch who shackles people's hearts. Erase my memories. Destroy my heart. I promised. I'll always protect you. You have to believe me. You turn from the truth because your heart is weak. You will never defeat me. Our Sora's most precious memories lost forever. Will we remember the promise to Domine? This would be Sora's first encounter with Organization 13, but certainly not his last. You know, as we've seen in Kingdom Hearts Dreamed Up Distance, Kingdom Hearts Recoded, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Real Distance, Kingdom Hearts Recoded, Kingdom Hearts 2. Twilight. A story so far, Kingdom Hearts 3, Twilight. Think now for a moment about your best friend. Someone you couldn't bear to lose. I have so long to behold, whose heart still runs deep. One of them is half a sword, other graduates of the sword's memories. The name Roxas. And the number 13 were all I had. His mind a blank slate. Roxas starts counting the days, determined to never forget anything again. He and his friend Axel go on missions for the organization. Today makes 255. It's been that many days since I first joined the organization. So this is the of the day, days over two. Memorize, do you? They are soon joined by the group's 14th member, a girl named Shion. Like Roxas, she has no memory of her past. Let us all welcome one of the Keyblades chosen. The three have been told they don't have hearts. That they're nobodies. And yet it's strange. They start to realize how much they care about each other. Axel, does that mean you and I are friends too? Well, if you're friends with Roxas, then yeah, of course you're my friend. If only all of this could last forever. Just give me another chance. We can't afford to take any more chances on you. You were a mistake we never should have made. She owns darkest secret. Is it that I'm not supposed to exist? She is a puppet created to duplicate your powers. Is that she only exists to seize control of Sora's power? The Keyblade's power. Both of them have connections to Sora, but we only need one of them. You mean... they have to destroy her? <sighs> Answer me! Roxas, if somebody doesn't, then you won't be you anymore. <gasps> if they really have no hearts, then why does the truth hurt this much? The grief? You can't turn on the organization. You get on their bad side and they'll destroy you. No one would miss me. That's not true. I would. The anger? <sighs> Please don't hold back, Axel. Promise. <sighs> What's your problem? You both. Think you can do whatever you want. Well, I'm sick of it. Go on, you just keep running. But I'll always be there to bring you back. The loss. You're next, Roxas. I have to make you a part of me, too. Don't you see? This is why I was created. The emptiness. See you again. I'm glad. I got to meet you. Oh. And of course, Axel too. You are both my best friends. Never forget. That's the truth. Well, they find the hearts they seek are only heartbreak. But I believe there's hope for them. Don't you? One day they'll be together again. Sorry, I was taking a photo of my Instagram story. <laughs> the 
Story so far, Kingdom Hearts 3, Dawn. Making tough choices isn't easy. But if that's what it takes to save a friend. The boy here walked towards Dawn and discovered that choices matter. I like to walk the road with you. Riku discovers Sora in Castle Oblivion, suspended in a deep sleep. He is faced with a decision. In your heart there is darkness. And in that darkness is Ansem. Riku, please choose. I don't need my heart locked. I'm ready. I'm gonna fight Ansem. You're not gonna lose. I know it. You shall sink into the abyss! Riku embraces his inner darkness and resolves to carry it toward the light. What are you making me choose now? Between the road to light and the road to darkness. Neither suits me. I'm taking the middle road. Do you mean the twilight road to nightfall? No. It's the road to dawn. In time, Riku crosses paths with Shion, who attacks him with a false keyblade. Tell me first, why you are dressed as one of us. To make sure my best friend sleeps in peace. I don't know who you're supposed to be, but you can't fight fire with sparks. He learns that Organization 13 is using her and Roxas to drain Sora of his memories and power. Dun dun dun. Sora's memories are escaping through Sora's nobody into a third person. So this entire recap video here is basically now, recapping uh, Riku's part of Reaching Memories and also Riku's part of Throne for the Day, Day Zipper 2. Sora has been put to sleep so that we can piece together his memory. So I think this is the second to last recap video we're on. You so we had... Because part of it is inside of me. Uh, that means I think it was like can't this. wake up. Discovery? Yeah. <laughs> but now we're on dawn right you now. Got it. To save his best friend, Riku prepares for the inevitable. I have to face one of the organization's members soon. I might not survive the fight. And if I do, it might be because I gave in to the darkness. And Shion chooses to do the same. I belong with Sora. And now I am going back. To be with him. Riku and Roxas clash, both desperate to save a friend. Why are you trying to stop me? Because I want back the rest of Sora's memories. I'll set Kingdom Hearts free. Then everything will be the way it was. She'll come back. And the three of us can be together again. You mean Shion? It's a struggle just to remember the name now. Either way. I can't let you go doing anything crazy. Riku's overpowered and decides not to hold his darkness back any longer. And that's what bring us to, brings us to no him becoming choice. Ansem. What? I have to release the power in my heart. The dark power that I've been holding back. Even if it changes me forever. Well, not forever, just like for... Almost a year while uh, Sora sleeps. Just about a year. And then you know, uh, once uh, I have accepted it. Once Zemnis opens Kingdom Hearts, or tries to open Kingdom Hearts anyway, it restores Riku back to his actual body. Each fork in the road shapes who we are, but Riku won't look back. I love Riku's Kibu, by the way. His friends need him. <laughs> This Keyblade, I don't really care for the design that they picked for his newer Keyblade. That's just me. But I love his original Keyblade. I, I love it. The story so far, Kingdom Hearts 3, Darkness. Who are we fighting? How did this all begin? And why did it take us so long to notice? Master Xehanort has returned. All that has transpired was exactly as he planned it. Xehanort had a gift like few others. Ansem. Or... Xehanort. You used to be a Keyblade wielder. But darkness stole your heart. And the Keyblade with it. Twice now, Master Xehanort has sought to drag the world into a great Keyblade war. 
between the forces of light and darkness. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another key? So there was like one keyblade war, I think, already. And I then the Xanar tried to start the second one and burp by sleep. The keyblade needs to be forged. And with it the door to the keyblade war unlocked. But both times his ambitions have been thwarted. In his first attempt, he divided a boy's heart into two beings, a pure light named Ventus and a pure darkness named Venetus. Okay, the two asshole. Would clash and forge a relic known as the Keyblade. Empty creature from Ventus Riven. To you, the name Venetus shall be given. So what are you waiting for? Join with me right here and now. Become the Keyblade. He told me the only way the Keyblade can be forged is if you and me fight. Well, guess what? I'm not fighting. Three students of Master Erechus, Xehanort's former brother in training, rose up in order to Terra, stop the Keyblade Aqua, from being and forged. Ven. I may have to fight Venetus after all. If I do, guys, I, I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, all right? I'll always find a way. And then they were. Bravery, they were ultimately torn apart at the end. Bond Sadly. Allowed them to triumph over I've got Ventus was put into idea. a deep sleep, Terra was possessed by Xehanort, and Aqua was lost in the realm of darkness. <laughs> The Keyblade is made of your heart too, idiot. If you destroy it, your heart will vanish forever. Well, not really. Whatever just takes. six refuge inside Sora's heart. To save Terra and Aqua. But all three paid a terrible price, and their destinies were sealed. The destruction of the Keyblade plunged Ventus into a deep sleep. Aqua sacrificed herself to the realm of darkness to save Terra. And by the time he was found, Terra was going by a different name. Xehanort. Master Xehanort's second attempt to start the Keyblade War involved pitting seven pure lights against 13 darknesses. His heart and body acted separately. His heart, Ansem, manipulated Riku and Maleficent into capturing the seven pure lights he needed, the princesses of heart. That was when His he tried to do it as Ansem. Founded Organization 13. And then as Xemnas, he worked together to do Organization 13, and then he ultimately had his Sora plan and his friends, come to fruition in Kingdom Hearts 2, but it didn't actually work out the way he wanted it to. Lights! But why? <sighs> And then once... Organization 13's true goal is to divide Xehanort's heart among 13 vessels. Once young Xehanort was defeated. Xehanort? <laughs> it brought back what is not only uh, 13 vessels for Xehanort. Now, Master Xehanort has warned of a but it also attempt included... to start his war. Huh? Master Xehanort! We were right about you! <laughs> the real Master Xehanort. All of this was decided. My twelve selves would welcome me. It was the real Master Xehanort, it was Ansem, it was Breg. It was it was real Master Xehanort, Ansem, Breg, Xemnas, Young Xehanort. Finish this at the fated place. Once your lights and my darknesses have joined together. Not even time itself can contain Xehanort's ambitions, but the end is near. Thirteen darknesses, seven lights. The end is coming. Everybody got that? So episode of one, Departures, recapped everything that happened in Kingdom Hearts 1. Episode 2, Memories, recapped obviously Rechain of Memories. Episode 3, Twilight recaps 358 days number two. 
episode four dawn recapped Riku's story and chain of memories and also uh Riku's story in three hundred fifty eight out of two day days over two. And then Darkness recapped not only Kingdom Hearts two but also uh recapped uh Dream Drop Distance. So uh Yeah, it was pretty fun. So uh obviously the next part will be actual gameplay. So let me split the part. <laughs>